Hello, what's going on Baku crew? Baku Brad 96 back with another Bakugan Evolutions unboxing and review. This time, I did finally manage to get my hands on the Elemental Rare Platinum Grizzwing, which is obviously what I'm going to be reviewing today. Now, I did go ahead and unbox it to save time, but here is the box art for those of you interested. A really awesome close-up of Grizzwing there. And then of course on the back it just shows you the elemental figure. It lets you know it's elemental, gate card, character card, and the Baku core included. And that's all for that. Here is the actual Grizzwing itself though. And honestly, taking a look at it, it is probably the best darkest elemental so far. Um, I like it a lot more than the Nilius because it has much more of the printed design along the tail and the wings here as you can all see a lot of that pattern it just shows up much better than it did on the Demorc, Crystallian, or Elemental Nilius. of course all three of those were really cool but this one is just my favorite because of the amount of detail you just get to see so much of it and to me it seems like it stands out a lot more and of course this is Platinum Series, so the main body here, this black, is all metal. And then everything else is the translucent black plastic. So the wings, the uh, headpiece, the feet, and the tail are all that translucent black. Show that off there. Yeah, that looks really nice. And then of course the black metal. So just a really awesome figure. I have um, unboxed Grizzwings before. There was the Ventus and the Arliss ones. But uh, finally have the Darkest Elemental. And like I said, really cool. But uh, here is the gate card included. Nothing new or special with this one. Unfortunately, with the character card, you did not get any of the Elemental design. Um... Seems like it's 50-50 with Spin Master. Either they put the elemental artwork on it or they don't. Um, going into Platinum Grizzwing stats, though, it does have a Magic Shield and a Helix Core. B Power of 900 with 1 damage. So it's definitely a strong Bakugan on a 650. You know, that puts you at 1550 on a 600 minus 3, which you wouldn't want to use because it only has 1 damage. But on a plus 500 minus 1, you would get... 1400 B power and zero damage. So uh, you tinker around a bit. You could use the blue shield or a helix. Maybe I would go with the plus 300 plus three. So you have a little bit of damage there. You'd only have 1200 B power, but I would want a little more damage than zero. Uh, still a really good Bakugan, especially for Darkus. It gives you access to two of the best Baku core, at least in my opinion, for the game. And that is very important. Speaking of which, Spin Master, if you're watching, hashtag we want cards. Go ahead and drop that down in the comments as well. Even though the week is over for the collaboration, we still want cards. We still want Spin Master to know. So hashtag we want cards. Definitely want the TCG so Bakugan like this can be used a lot more with their Baku core. But uh, yeah, so the artwork for Grizzwing, really nice. Um, I know this is like, the Platinum versions are usually the Bakugan Strength modes, so it doesn't too much look like a bat um, in this artwork, but I do think of Grizzwing as more of a bat Bakugan, like Batrix, or maybe an Imp Gargoyle type, I guess a cross between the, the three maybe? I don't know, but still really interesting, really great character. And just a neat design overall. Now the Baku core included, which I have back here. You get the Helix is a plus 600 B power, minus 3 damage. So nothing too special with that. It's still really good though, just with the damage Grizzwing has. Not really great for, uh, for that Bakugan. And the Blue Shield is a plus 500 B power. So again, not the best, but not the worst. Taking another look again at this epic Grizzwing, showing it off. Again, this is the review, after all. Such a really cool Bakugan. Probably one of my favorite designs. I'm really starting to like Grizzwing a lot. Um, I was having a hard time tracking him down. I couldn't find him on any Baku hunts at all. 
Um, I managed to buy this one off of someone. Did cost me a little higher than they normally are retail. It was uh, $25, but I am not complaining because I did want the Elemental Grizzwing. I definitely like Darkest Bakugan, so I try to get all of the Darkest Elementals that I can. I'm still looking for the Halcor though. I cannot find it at all. But again, going back to this epic Grizzwing, one thing to note is the gold little wisps here. The same that are on the Elemental Nelius are very nice. They're painted on, no problems at all. Again on the head, same thing, no mess ups with the paint. The one mess up I can see is the uh, print here, right there. There's a little spot hanging over. That is the only error I have seen. Just the little 3D printed strip here, holographic, whatever you call it. But uh, yeah, see no chips on the wings or anything. Great detail. Very well made Bakugan. So to close it up, you want to fold the wings in. Fold the head down. And then the wings. And then lastly, the tail should lock in. And there we go. So this is Elemental Grizzwing in its sphere form closed up. And once again, all of that elemental detailing is just really vibrant and it really stands out. It takes up a majority of this Bakugan. I feel like on the others, it is a minor detail. Um, rather than with this elemental, it seems to take up a majority. And uh, it's so much better. Just look at that. What a work of art. Definitely cool there. And then you have the translucent black plastic on top to kind of show off. And then you have a band right here in the middle. I think that's really cool. Surrounded by the metal. Very, very nice. And of course, you go around to the head. Just a good amount of detail on this Elemental Grizzwing. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments down below about this Elemental Bakugan. Definitely one of my favorites. I will probably be using it in some sort of deck profile, but I'm not sure which because I really don't like to use my Elementals. But let's try a few practice rolls. I will get out the gate card because, well, I suck. But I will put the core in front of it just in case I get lucky. Now the arrow on Grizzwing is right there in the center of the two little, I don't know, clip pegs there. And let's see if it has a strong magnet. Well, I missed. Try it one more time. And I missed again. Try it one more time just for fun. Wow. Platinum Bakugan are so heavy, I have a hard time rolling them straight. Try it again. Jeez. Okay. But the magnet does work, and it doesn't double core. But, as you can all see, the magnet does work. I just was not rolling it straight at all. But still, what an epic Bakugan. Nonetheless, even if I didn't get any of the pop-up action to show... Epic Elemental Grizzwing. Props to Spin Master for still making the designs unique. The Elemental Chase Rare is really nice. Just look at that. A lot of detail. A lot of work went into that. Very, very nice. Good sculpting and everything. It just, just makes me want to roll it out and have it work. So one more time. Gonna try Haha, -ha, got it on the final roll. Well, that'll do for this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review of Elemental Grizzwing. Definitely a Bakugan that I like the most. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Bakugan reviews, unboxings, monthly giveaways, and more. On that note, I will leave you all with a little tip. Rather than open them for the Evo cards, I did decide to put the two Elemental Serpilius and the two Diamond Enox on the giveaways. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel for your chance to win these awesome diamonds. Until next time, Baku Crew. 
Stay safe, drum up, and Bakugan brawl.